Ever pondered the intricacies of DNA replication? Welcome to a journey into the microscopic world of our cells, where the blueprint of life unfolds in a complex dance of molecules. DNA replication, the process behind every growth, every repair, and every life, is far from simple. Picture the two DNA strands, like twisted ladders, running in opposite or anti-parallel directions. This is where the real drama takes place. DNA replication requires the synthesis of two new strands at the replication fork. One strand is synthesized in the 5 to 3 direction, while the other in the opposite direction, from 3 to 5. But here's the catch. DNA polymerase, the key player in this process, can only catalyze the polymerization of the DNTPs in the 5 to 3 direction. This presents a fascinating challenge. How can the new strand, running in the opposite direction, be synthesized? The solution is as elegant as it is intricate. Instead of continuous synthesis, the new strand is built from discontinuous small pieces of DNA. These pieces, synthesized backward from the direction of the replication fork, are known as Okazaki fragments. These fragments are then seamlessly joined together by the action of DNA ligase, forming an intact new DNA strand known as the lagging strand. This lagging phase isn't synthesized by the primer that initiates the synthesis of the leading strand. Instead, a short fragment of RNA serves as a primer for the initiation of the replication of the lagging strand. These RNA primers, ranging from 3 to 10 nucleotides long and complementary to the lagging strand template at the replication fork, are synthesized by an enzyme known as primase. The Okazaki fragments are then extended by DNA polymerase. In the newly synthesized lagging strand, there exists an RNA-DNA joint, highlighting the critical role of RNA in DNA replication. This leads us to a fascinating aspect of DNA replication, the role of Okazaki fragments. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this wonder of biology in the next scene. Enter Okazaki Fragments, the unsung heroes of DNA replication. In the intricate process of DNA replication, we find that the two new strands are not created equally. One strand is synthesized in the 5 to 3 direction, straightforward and continuous. But what about the other strand? It runs in the opposite direction, from 3 to 5. And here's where things get interesting. DNA polymerase, the enzyme that catalyzes the polymerization of the deoxyribonucleotide triphosphates, or DNTPs, can only do so in the 5 to 3 direction. So, how does this other strand get synthesized? The answer lies in the ingenious mechanism of discontinuous synthesis. The new strand is created in small separate pieces, synthesized backward, from the direction of movements of the replication fork. These small pieces are what we call Okazaki fragments. Now, we can't have a DNA strand made up of disjointed fragments, can we? That's where DNA ligase comes into play. This enzyme acts like a molecular glue, joining these Okazaki fragments together to form an intact new DNA strand, known as the lagging strand. This lagging strand is different from its counterpart, the leading strand in the way it's synthesized. The initiation of the lagging strand synthesis isn't done by the same primer that starts the leading strand. Instead, a short fragment of RNA, known as an RNA primer, serves as the starting point for the replication of the lagging strand. These RNA primers are formed during RNA synthesis, initiated de novo. An enzyme called Primacy synthesizes these short RNA fragments which are 3 to 10 nucleotides long and complementary to the lagging strand template at the replication fork. The Okazaki fragments are then synthesized by the extension of these RNA primers by DNA polymerase. The result? A newly synthesized lagging strand that contains an RNA-DNA joint, highlighting the critical role RNA plays in DNA replication. But, you might ask, how are these Okazaki fragments synthesized in the first place? The synthesis of Okazaki fragments is a marvel of biological engineering. As we delve into the labyrinth of DNA replication, it's important to understand 
that the lagging strand of the DNA isn't synthesized the same way as the leading strand. Instead, a short fragment of RNA, known as an RNA primer, steps in to initiate this process. What's fascinating about this RNA primer is that it's tailor-made for the job. An enzyme called primase is the architect behind these RNA primers. It meticulously synthesizes these fragments, which are between 3 to 10 nucleotides long. These primers are designed to be complementary to the lagging strand template at the replication fork. Picture it like a lock and key mechanism, where the RNA primer is the key, perfectly fitting into the lock, which is the lagging strand template. This complementary fit ensures that the replication process can proceed without a hitch. With the RNA primer in place, the stage is set for the synthesis of the Okazaki fragments. This process is like a relay race. The baton in this case is the RNA primer and the runner is DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase takes the baton from the RNA primer and extends these fragments. It's a brilliant example of teamwork where each player knows their role and performs it to perfection. This relay between the RNA primer and DNA polymerase results in the formation of the Okazaki fragments. But the story doesn't end there. The lagging strand, which is now synthesized, contains an RNA-DNA joint. This highlights the pivotal role that RNA plays in DNA replication. It's not just a bystander, but a critical player in the process. So the next time you think about DNA replication, remember this intricate dance between the RNA primer, DNA polymerase, and the lagging strand. Each step, each movement is a testament to the marvel that is biological engineering. And that, my friends, is the critical role of RNA in DNA replication. DNA replication is a complex yet fascinating process. Let's recall the choreography. Two DNA strands run in opposite directions, a characteristic we call anti-parallel. This anti-parallel nature of DNA presents a unique challenge during replication. How to synthesize the new strand in the opposite direction? Enter the Okazaki fragments, the small pieces of DNA that are synthesized backward from the direction of the replication fork movement. These fragments each initiated by a short piece of RNA called an RNA primer, are then extended by DNA polymerase. Once synthesized, these fragments are joined together by DNA legacy, forming an intact new DNA strand known as the lagging strand. This intricate process underscores the critical role of RNA in DNA replication. So through the clever use of Okazaki fragments, Life has found a way to bypass the seemingly insurmountable obstacle presented by the anti-parallel nature of DNA. In the intricate dance of life, every step, every fragment matters, especially when it comes to the replication of our very own genetic material.